Sword Art Online Season 1 begins by showing a young man named Kirigaya Kazuto known as Kirito, who becomes a beta tester of a game called Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online is an MMORPG game created by a man named Kayaba Kihiko. This game is designed by connecting each player's brain into the game dimension using a tool called Nerve Gear. With this tool, every player will have a more realistic gaming experience. This game is very popular and many people want to play the game, so that when this game was successfully released, people started buying and playing the Sword Art Online game, including Kirito himself. While in the game, Kirito met another male player named Klain who was a newbie or novice player. After learning that Kirito was a beta tester, Klain requested that Kirito teach him fighting skills and sword skills because a beta tester like him usually already knew every basic skill to survive in the game. After Klain was able to master some basic skills such as how to activate weapons and sword skills, he decided to log out of the SAO game. But strangely, he couldn't log out of the game. Kirito and the other players also had the same incident. Kirito felt that something was wrong in this game. After that, all players from various levels gathered in the first floor's main hall. The game master, Kayaba Kihiko, appeared and announced that all players would be unable to log out of the game. Every player who releases the Nerve Gear tool by force will be killed instantly and there have been more than 200 players who have died because of it. In addition, Kayaba also explained that any player who runs out of HP or hit points in the game will also die immediately in the real world because the Nerve Gear device connected to the brain will directly damage the player's brain. Each player will be released and returned to the real world after they can complete each level or floor of the game. That means every player must be able to reach the highest level, namely the 100th floor. Seeing the situation, Kirito invited Klain to go to another village and hunt monsters so they could level up quickly. Unfortunately, Klain couldn't go with Kirito because he couldn't leave the rest of his friends. Therefore, Kirito was forced to part with Klain and go on monster hunting alone. One month had passed since the SAO game was first released. Due to the extremely high pressure in the game, 2,000 people became victims and died. A few surviving users decided to gather and hold a meeting so they could defeat the boss monster from the first floor. The meeting was led by a male player named Diabel, who was a beta tester like Kirito. Diabel directs all players to join a squad to work together to defeat the monsters and raise their respective levels. Kirito, who is a solo player, looks confused because he doesn't have a squad yet. Luckily, a female player named Asuna was also a solo player. Kirito and Asuna then decided to work together. The next day, the remaining players gathered on the first floor and started attacking the monsters together. After defeating the army of monsters, they only had to fight to kill the boss monster from the first floor. When Diabel thought that the boss monster was dying, he rashly attacked the monster alone. As a result, he died because the attack had caused him to be seriously injured. Therefore, Kirito and Asuna began to work together and combine their abilities to defeat the boss monster. After a fairly fierce battle, Kirito finally defeated the boss monster and got a bonus item. After the fight was over, the players started bickering and blaming each other for Diabel's death. Seeing the chaos, Kirito pretended to be a villain who had manipulated them and claimed to have cleared several higher floors as a beta tester. Hearing that, the players started to think of Kirito as a cheater and kicked him out. Kirito did all that on purpose so that the players wouldn't blame each other and work together, while he would take all the blame alone. Before Kirito left, he suggested that Asuna join a guild to survive in this dangerous game. Sometime later, Kirito had managed to reach the 11th floor and joined a squad called Moonlight Squad. In the squad, Kirito is the only player who has reached level 40 while the other members are still at level 20. In the squad there is also a female player named Sachi. After defeating several monsters together, Kirito has now reached level 48. One night, Kirito finds Sachi sitting alone because she is constantly afraid that she will not survive the game. Seeing this, Kirito tried calming Sachi down and promised he would protect her. The next day, Kirito and the rest of the Moonlight Squad explore a labyrinth on the 27th floor. When one of them opens a treasure chest, they are trapped and surrounded by many monsters. One by one, the Moonlight Squad members began to die because the number of monsters attacking them was too much. When Kirito watched Sachi die in front of him, he immediately went berserk and slaughtered all the monsters in the room alone. Now Kirito is back as a solo player and still hasn't joined a new squad. On Christmas Eve, the players, including Kirito gathered to defeat the boss monster named Nicholas. If the player can defeat Nicholas, they will get a reward in the form of a rare item that can restore the soul of a player who has died. That night, Kirito forms an alliance with a clan to help him defeat the monster Nicholas.
but the clan had to defeat another clan alliance called the Holy Dragon Alliance, so Kirito had to fight the monster Nicholas alone. After defeating the monster alone, Kirito finally managed to get the rare item. However, after learning that the item could only be used 10 seconds after the player died, Kirito was very disappointed and instead gave the rare item to his allied clan. That night, Kirito returned to his inn in a very uninspired state. A few moments later, he received a gift box from Sachi in the form of a voice recording before she died. Sachi told Kirito to continue to survive in the game and not blame himself if she died one day. Hearing that message, Kirito felt very sad and couldn't hold back his tears anymore. On the other hand, a female player named Silica had a fight with her squad leader named Rosalia. Silica decided to leave the squad and continue the journey alone. On the way, she was suddenly attacked by a group of monsters who killed her pet. When Silica was almost killed, Kirito appeared and immediately defeated all the monsters. After successfully rescuing Silica, Kirito told her that he could revive her pet on the 47th floor. Hearing this, Silica asked Kirito to accompany her to the place. During the night together, Kirito and Silica discussed the squad group that often kills other players to grab rare items. The squad is known as Player Killer or PK, which is marked by orange crystals above their heads. The next day, Kirito and Silica arrived on the 47th floor. After defeating the monster together, Silica finally managed to get a rare flower item that could bring her pet back to life. But when Silica and Kirito were about to return to their place, Rosalia and her squad suddenly stopped them and intended to seize the rare item. It turns out that Rosalia and her squad members are a PK group called Titan Hand. Kirito decided to fight all the members of the PK squad alone because he knew that his level was far above theirs. All the attacks from the members of the PK squad did not work on Kirito. On the contrary, Kirito managed to catch them and imprison them, including Rosalia. When he arrived on the next floor, Kirito met again with Asuna who was now the deputy commander of the guild called Knights of the Blood. After that, Kirito and Asuna relaxed in the clearing until the afternoon. Shortly after, the players were surprised by a male player named Kainz who suddenly died mysteriously. Kirito and Asuna decided to investigate the matter. They then asked Kain's colleague named Yoruka about their squad. Yoruka explained that in the past their squad had found a rare ring item that created divisions in their squad because one of their members had secretly stolen the item and sold it. She also explained that their squad leader named Grisola suddenly disappeared and died. Shortly after, Yoruka suddenly died after someone threw a kunai at her body from behind the window. Kirito tried to chase after that person, but that person had disappeared using the teleport skill. When Kirito returned, he found Yoruka's squadmate named Schmidt looking very panicked and frightened. It turned out that Schmidt was the one who had stolen the rare ring item and sold it to someone else. After learning that, Kirito began to realize that in fact Yoruka and Kainz were still not dead, but rather they teleported after destroying their armor. Kirito was sure that Yoruka and Kainz were doing this to pressure Schmidt and admit his guilt. In the evening, when Schmidt was confessing his actions in front of Griselda's grave, the PK squad led by a male player named Vasago Kasol suddenly appeared. Fortunately, before the squad killed Schmidt and the others, Kirito arrived just in time and blocked their attack. The PK squad finally decided to withdraw because their enemies were too many. After that, a member of the Yoruka squad named Grimlock suddenly appears and tells the truth about rare items and Griselda's death. It turned out that the person who had told Schmidt to sell rare items and the person who had killed Griselda was Grimlock. Grimlock, who is Griselda's husband, feels inferior and embarrassed because Griselda has turned into a very brave and more powerful figure in the game. Grimlock, who is increasingly depressed and loses his mind, decides to kill his own wife with the help of the PK squad led by Kasol. Hearing this, Schmidt and Kainz decided to bring Grimlock to restore his disturbed soul. Since that incident, the relationship between Kirito and Asuna has grown closer. The next day, Kirito came to the blacksmith's place to make a new more powerful sword. The blacksmith's owner was a female user named Lisbeth. Lisbeth suggests that Kirito defeat the crystal dragon on the 55th floor and collect sword materials from the crystal so that his sword can become stronger and invincible. After hearing that, Kirito invited Lisbeth to go to the crystal dragon's place and defeat it. But in the middle of the battle against the crystal dragon, Lisbeth and Kirito suddenly fell into the abyss. Luckily they were still alive and could recover their HP with Kirito's health potion. They decided to spend one night in the abyss because they couldn't escape it. The next day, Kirito managed to find a crystal lump from the bottom of the abyss. After that, he and Lisbeth tried to subdue the crystal dragon and tried to control it so they could get out of the abyss by riding the crystal dragon. 
After successfully completing the mission, Lisbeth seems to have started to fall in love and like Kirito. The next day, Lisbeth began to forge the crystal and made the sword Kirito wanted called Dark Repulsor. After finishing making the sword, she intended to express her feelings to Kirito, but she gave up after seeing the very close relationship between Kirito and Asuna. One day Kirito was fighting a monster in a labyrinth to level up faster. After being trapped for two years in the SAO game, Kirito began to suspect that Kayaba Kahiko was watching the players somewhere. When Kirito came out of the labyrinth, he found a red-eyed rabbit that was quite large. He immediately hunted the rabbit so he could make the rabbit meat for dinner. After learning that the rabbit had grade S meat, Kirito immediately asked Asuna to cook the meat at his house so they could have dinner together. At dinner, Asuna asked Kirito to accompany her to hunt monsters together. Kirito and Asuna went to a labyrinth on the 74th floor to hunt monsters the next day. After successfully slaughtering several monsters together, they found a hidden room inhabited by the boss monster on the floor. After seeing the boss monster in the form of a giant horned goat monster, they decided to run away because they still didn't know how much ability the giant monster had. While exiting the giant monster room, Kirito and Asuna met a group of young players belonging to one guild. In addition to meeting the youth guild, they also met the army troops guild who intended to defeat the giant boss monster. Hearing that, Kirito tried to warn and prevent them from fighting the giant monster, but the army guild ignored Kirito's warning and insisted on defeating the monster. When the army guilds fought the giant monsters, many of their members were seriously injured and almost died. Kirito, Asuna, and the youth guild finally decided to save them and defeat the giant monster. Asuna and Kirito teamed up and combined their strength to defeat the monster, while the youth guild members would evacuate the army to a safer place. Kirito, who realized that the giant monster was powerful, decided to use his power and took out a dual sword move. After a very fierce battle, he could finally kill the monster alone even though he almost died because his HP were very low. Asuna, who saw Kirito almost dead, was very frightened and immediately hugged him. Asuna seemed to really love Kirito and didn't want to lose him. Since that incident, Kirito had become very famous among the other players for having defeated the boss monster alone. On the next day, Kirito met with the commander of the Knights of the Blood named Heathcliff so that he would be allowed to take Asuna with him. Hearing that, Heathcliff agreed on the condition that Kirito must succeed in defeating him in a one-on-one -on -one duel. But if Kirito loses, then he must join his guild. On the next day, the duel between Kirito and Heathcliff began and was witnessed by many players because they were both considered to be very strong players in the SAO game. The battle was very fierce and intense. Just as Kirito was about to defeat Heathcliff, Suddenly Heathcliff could move so fast that he could counterattack and defeat Kirito. As a result, Kirito lost the duel and was forced to join the Knights of the Blood. On the next day, Kirito was asked to train with other members of Knights named Godfrey and Kuradil. But during their break, Kirito and Godfrey accidentally drank a drink that had been poisoned by Kuradil so they were paralyzed and unable to move their bodies. In that state, Kuradil directly attacked Godfrey and killed him. Fortunately, just as he was about to kill Kirito, Asuna arrived just in time and immediately attacked him. At the last moment, Asuna was hesitant to kill Kuradio because she had never killed another player. Seeing that, Kirito who had recovered instantly killed Kuradio and protected Asuna. Thus, Kirito ended up killing another player for the first time. After that, Kirito asked Asuna to accompany him so he could calm himself down. That night, they spent time together and had fun. After that, Kirito and Asuna applied for leave to the Knights of the Blood so that they could live in peace and be able to calm themselves down. The next day, Kirito asked Asuna to marry him and live together in his house on the 22nd floor. While Kirito and Asuna were leisurely walking around the forest, they came across a fainted little girl named Yui. The following day when Yui woke up, she looked confused and had lost her memory. Yui then considers Kirito and Asuna as her parents so the three of them live happily as a family. A few days later, Kirito and Asuna went to the village where Yui came from to find out about her previous life. While in the village, Yui begins to remember something about her past, but the memory only makes her feel scared. After that, Kirito and Asuna went to the orphanage run by the church in the village. In that place, many child players were living there. After talking to the orphanage's caretaker, Kirito and Asuna still didn't get any information about Yui. Not long after that, a female player who became the deputy commander of the army named Yulier approached Kirito and Asuna. Yulier went to them to ask for help so that they could help her save the army commander who was trapped in the first floor underground labyrinth. After arriving at the underground labyrinth, Kirito immediately slaughtered the monsters there. 
After successfully slaughtering all the monsters, suddenly a monster in the form of an angel of death appeared and attacked them. So Kirito and Asuna immediately attacked the monster with all their might until their HP became very low. At the crucial moment, Yui tried to withstand the monster's attacks and protect them. It turns out that Yui is an immortal object in the SAO game so that the monster can't beat her and she can easily kill the monster. After that, Yui was finally able to remember who she was. She was a program created by Kayaba Akihiko to maintain the mental stability of the players. But when the SAO game was released, Kayaba forbade Yui to mentally stabilize the players so that many novice players died because they couldn't withstand the high pressure in the game. It caused Yui to suffer damage because many negative emotions from the players affected her. When she finds out that Kirito and Asuna have happy emotions and can live peacefully in the game, Yui finally decides to meet them. However, now Yui can't stay with Kirito and Asuna any longer because she has broken the rules created by Akihiko and will soon be abolished. Before Yui was deleted, Kirito had already copied the program from her chip and stored it into an item. On the following day, Kirito and Asuna were asked to rejoin the Knights of the Blood as they would be fighting a powerful boss monster from the 90th floor. Heathcliff explained that in this battle, they would continue to be trapped in the labyrinth until they defeated the monster. The next day, Kirito, Asuna, and the rest of the Knights Alliance went straight into the labyrinth to defeat the monster. The monster is in the form of a very strong giant spider. Fortunately, thanks to the excellent cooperation and ability of the Knights of the Blood, they finally defeated the monster after a very long battle. However, several users had died and been injured badly enough that their HP counts had decreased. Kirito who saw Heathcliff's HP was still full, got suspicious and immediately attacked him. It turns out that Heathcliff has an immortal object program like Yui. Kirito then deduces that Heathcliff is Kayaba Kahiko, the master of the SAO game. Hearing that, Heathcliff admitted that he was Kayaba Kahiko. Kayaba was amazed by Kirito who managed to find out his true identity. After that, he decided to reward Kirito by letting him have a one-on-one -on -one duel with him. As a reward, if Kirito beats him, then the SAO game will be officially over and all players can return to the real world. After Kirito accepted his challenge, Kayaba changed the program from his body into a mortal object so that the fight could be fair. Kirito did a barrage of attacks at Kayaba, but in the middle of the fight, one of his swords made of dragon crystal broke. Just as Kayaba was about to kill Kirito, Asuna ran and sacrificed herself to protect Kirito. As a result, Asuna died in Kirito's arms and it made Kirito lose his mind and not be eager to fight Kayaba. Seeing that, Kayaba immediately stabbed Kirito with his sword and Kirito was killed. But a miracle suddenly appeared. Kirito got back up and was able to get great power to defeat Kayaba. After successfully killing Kayaba, the SAO game was finally completed and all players could return to the real world. After that, Kirito and Asuna met above the clouds and watched the SAO game control castle slowly crumble. After that, Kirito told Asuna his real name hoping they would meet again in the real world. Asuna also told Kirito her real name was Yuki Asuna and her age at that time was 17 years old. Moments later, Kirito woke up and found himself back in the real world. He was determined that he would find Asuna's whereabouts. After returning to the real world, Kirito underwent treatment for two months until his body recovered. In the real world, Kirito lives with his female cousin named Suguha Kirigaya. That day, Kirito went to the hospital to visit Asuna who was still unconscious and in a coma. One of the employees of Asuna's father's company named Sugo Nobuyuki also often visits Asuna because he really likes her. Sugo even said that Asuna's family had approved of the relationship between him and Asuna because he was the only person who could save her. Hearing that, Kirito felt very sad and disappointed. The next day, Kirito got a message from his partner that he saw Asuna trapped in an online game called All5. It turned out that Asuna was trapped in the game because Sugo had transferred her program from the SAO game into that game. After realizing that, Kirito intended to enter the game and save Asuna. He then used Nerve Gear so his mind could enter the game. After successfully logging into the game, Kirito activates Yui's program so that Yui can revive. Yui said that the Alfheim game server was the same as the server used by the SAO game so Kirito's ability data could be used in the game. In the evening, Kirito met a female player named Lifa who was being attacked by several monsters. Kirito quickly slaughtered all the monsters and saved her. At dinner, Kirito asked Lifa about the location of the World Tree where Asuna was being held. Lifa then explains that the World Tree is located in the capital city, and to enter the World Tree Tower, they must defeat many very powerful guardian fairies. After that, Lifa logged out of the game and it was finally discovered that Lifa was Suguha. 
On the other hand, Asuna was still trapped in the birdcage in the Tower of the World Tree, where a fairy king named Oberon was guarding her. It turned out that the person controlling Oberon's character was Sugo, the one who had imprisoned Asuna in the game. In addition, Oberon also intends to create a system that can erase the memories of the players so that he can control the players' characters. Asuna who knew the evil intentions, intended to prevent Oberon because his actions were very dangerous and could harm many people, but Asuna still couldn't do that because she was still stuck there. Fortunately, that day Asuna managed to see the passcode of the birdcage door using a mirror while Oberon was locking the door. Meanwhile, Kirito and Lifa started to continue their journey toward the capital. They face many obstacles and have to defeat monsters repeatedly, but they still don't give up and work together to reach the Tower of the World Tree. On the way, Kirito managed to help a race named Sylph who was almost killed by the Salamander race. After the leader of the Salamander race was defeated by Kirito in a one-on-one -on -one duel, the Salamander race decided to retreat and cancelled their intention to attack the Sylph race. After that, the Queen of the Sylph race asked Kirito to join her group. But Kirito refused immediately because he had to go to the World Tree Tower. Instead, he asked the Sylph race to gather more troops to help him conquer the Tower of the World Tree. On the other hand, Asuna had managed to escape from the birdcage and infiltrated the administrator's room. Inside the room, she saw the thoughts of many players controlled by Sugo through his memory erasing system experiment. Then, she found a console in the middle of the room and intended to turn off Sugo's memory erasing system. Unfortunately, Asuna was caught by Sugo's men who were assigned to guard the research room. Asuna was again locked in the birdcage and the code for the birdcage door had been changed to a new password. Even so, Asuna had secretly managed to retrieve the master card from the console. Meanwhile, Kirito and Suguha were visiting Asuna at the hospital in the real world. Seeing Kirito's very sincere love for Asuna, Suguha, who initially really liked Kirito, decided to bury her feelings. Suguha chose to pursue the love of Kirito whom she met in the Alfheim game. Even though without she realized it, Kirito's character in the game was the same person as his cousin Kirito. On the next day, Kirito and Lifa arrived at the World Tree Tower gate. But when Kirito tried to enter the tower, there was a tough barrier to break through. At the same time, Yui tried to summon Asuna using a voice system. Asuna, who heard Yui's voice from below the tower, immediately threw the master card down so that Kirito would notice her presence. After Kirito managed to get the master card, Kirito realized that Asuna was waiting for him at the top of the tower. When Kirito was about to barge into the tower gate, Lifa tried to restrain him because it was a very dangerous place. But Kirito insisted on staying inside the tower because he had to save Asuna. After Lifa heard Kirito mention Asuna's name, Lifa finally realized that the Kirito in front of her was her older cousin. This made her feel sad and she immediately logged out of the game. Seeing that, Kirito finally knew that Lifa was Suguha and found out that Suguha had feelings for him. He then asked Suguha to meet him in the game and compete with him so that she could vent all her anger and disappointment on him. After the duel, Lifa decided to forgive Kirito and help him save Asuna. Lifa then invites a colleague named Rekon to help Kirito defeat the Guardian Fairies who are inside the gates of the World Tree Tower. Lifa and Rekon would use healing abilities on Kirito while Kirito would defeat the guards there. However, due to the many Guardian Elves, Kirito almost died and lost his energy. Rekon decided to use enormous explosion magic so that Kirito could fly straight up to the top of the World Tree Tower. At the same time, troops from the Sylph race came to help Kirito break through the tower. After that, Kirito used Lifa's sword to break through the World Tree Tower's barrier until he finally reached the top of the tower. After Kirito and Yui managed to get into the room at the top of the tower, they immediately ran to save Asuna. But when they managed to release Asuna from the birdcage, they were suddenly transported to another dimension by Oberon alias Sugo. Sugo had become the master of the game so he could control the other players in the game. Sugo continuously abused Asuna and tortured Kirito with excruciating pain. In times of crisis, Kayaba suddenly appears and helps Kirito by giving him the Heathcliff ID so that he can gain access to the game master and take over control of the game. Kirito then changed Sugo's player status to an ordinary player and immediately defeated him. Now Kirito has managed to save Asuna and the two of them can log out to return to the real world. Before Kirito logged out of the game, Kayaba gave Kirito the seed so he could create new worlds in the game more easily. After returning to the real world, Kirito immediately went to the hospital to see Asuna. Now, Asuna finally recovered and woke up from her coma. In the end, Asuna and Kirito reunited after going through various obstacles in the online game. Kirito and Asuna attend the same high school, and their relationship becomes even more romantic. 
Meanwhile, Sugo was detained and imprisoned for conducting experiments that harmed many people. The anime closes with a scene where Kirito and Asuna gather with other SAO players and celebrate Kirito's success in completing the SAO game. Kirito and Asuna looked happy together and lived their lives together. This anime series teaches us about a strong determination to resist all pressures or systems that violate the rules and harm many people.